AO, I got my tape measure, I got my battery, I got my rake handle, and I've got my saw. So basically what we're gonna do is first off we're gonna measure the length of our battery. So from the the top of the battery to the bottom of the battery is 57 millimeters. So that's not that's not including the knob on top, but we're gonna cut the dowel at about 54, 55 millimeters just so we've got room to, to screw our screws in each end. Okay, so let's get started. So as you can see, there's a knob at the end, so I'm just going to take that off. Did you get that? This tool is useless. This tool is useless for this. Let me go see. You can just snap this off, you know. Tiniest little bit more. So there we go. One cut. Batteries 57. Let's let's just mark it up this way. Nice and easy. So yeah, we just broke off the end. So how's it going? So we got our battery and we got our dowel. Now it's not too bad. Um, as I said, it doesn't really need to be perfect because we're going to be screwing a screw in this end for the positive, and we're going to be a screw screwing a screw in the bottom for the negative. So I got my screw, I got my dowel. Uh, let me put the second screw just up here. So now, roughly in the center. All I'm going to do is screw in the screw. On this end, I'm going to screw in the screw. So there we go. We've got our two screws in each end. So we're back. We've got our transformer. 4.5 volt, 240 volt, it's 150 milliamp hours. So we're just going to unscrew one screw and we are going to put in the negative end into the hole like that. So I'm just putting the negative end in the hole, then I'm going to put the screw back in. Um, you could solder it onto the end of the screw but I'm just going to do this so as it screws in screw that back in so there we go there we have our temporary battery we're going to take out the batteries that are in the machine we're going to take out the two batteries in the machine and we're going to look at this. Now I've just got to do one last thing. Get my permanent marker. So 
So we have the negative and the positive ends of the battery. I'm going to take our hot wheel spinner and I'm going to plug it in. As you can see, it's there, it's not going to move around, and it is, it is done. We've got the negative at this end and the positive at this end. So, because on these machines, the, the, we got power here, but we need to get the power back to this one from here. So, I need to create a join between these two. I can help my dad. So, I can help my dad. Nice. Okay, I'm going to make one of these, but it's just going to be a direct connect. Dad, so, okay. I like that. Cut the table. Let's cut it a bit less. So, Daddy, don't cut the table. I'm not going to cut the table. So, uh, let's make the cut. There we go. So, after three and a half minutes, we have our short length. There we go. So, we got our we got one of the wires out of it. Uh, let's do the same thing that we did before. So, screwdriver. So we got our direct connection. So this is this will just take the current from one side to the other. So we've got this. Now let's see. Does it fit in? Actually that's a I'm gonna unscrew this end a little bit because I want this to be the positive end. This in here and so there you go so we've got the connection down here and we've got the connection up here so now when I go and I plug this in when I plug this in and I flick this switch it should work hey so as this is live and this is live if I was to touch both of these ends at the same time while it's plugged in it could be a little dangerous so one extra layer of precaution which I will tell my son not to remove is I'm going to tape so now here we go The last test plugged in, power's on, and it is spinning. Now, I don't know if you can tell, but using the electricity, uh, also with the extra, the little, the one, one and a half volts more, this is spinning up much faster than it ever did with any of the batteries. Okay, catch up, bye.